Hi everybody and welcome back to The Good Sect. I'm Icon and this is going to be episode 16. Today we're going to explore the... wait a sec... an injured character is, is asking for help. We have to react. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to explore the wonders of the mini-universe. And beyond that, I'm not entirely sure where we're going to be headed. I do know that I want to do whatever I can to grab that mandate, but I'm not really sure if we are actually seeing any real chances of acquiring it. Like I said in the last episode's outro, I really don't know if there is a stat threshold where you're actually not able to acquire the law at all. What I do know is... Ooh. What I do know though is that the probability of getting that law is depending on the law, f law match of that character asking for the skill, so... I was just a little bit confused about that warning there. So the game was basically warning me that the uh, and that there's a, m a monster on the map. Sure, I know that already. Just forgot that you get that uh, text prompt. So the mini universe, when you check it out, it stores all the items in here, which are mundane items, meats, blocks, offcuts, fabrics, all these things get absorbed by the simple acquisition button and whenever somebody tries to work there they don't need to haul it anymore it's wonderful a group of refugees we're giving the refugees food of course so i'm tired of my folks not going towards the fox there so let's do that manually <laughs> let's just hope i'll be able to acquire the other um, the laws outside there there's uh, no there's a bull here there we go let's send somebody to adopt him because somehow it obviously doesn't happen yeah okay the pet will now disappear for a while and to summon it again I need to build a statue there. G became familiar with the location and found the Celeste Pass. All right, we got 7,000 followers. Very good. So, Celeste Pass, where where was that? <laughs> I will find it, promise. <laughs> Sadly, there is no search area, uh, search option or such. Ah, here. So this is a place to gather purity leaf at, I see. Okay. And with the mini universe, the sect's power grows insanely because all the work is being done a lot quicker. So, accept teachings, yeah. I only know that the uh, emotion severing law had a very high prerequisite on intelligence and charisma, if I'm not mistaken. It's a little bit tedious that you can't look them up. Like, not at all. Also, it's time to go for a other building, and that's a crafting table and an alchemy furnace. It's about time. Now, we're going to produce these out of spirit stone blocks because I have a certain love for that material. Yeah, well, let's demolish that thing. And move that thing. I'm somehow not uh, really in high hopes of acquiring the law. But nevertheless, I want to send disciples there as long as the event is rolling, just to take as many rolls as possible on that thing. Although I made the experience in the past with these uh, with these situations that 
whenever I didn't have success the first few times, I didn't have I haven't had success after a further five or ten times, so I'm afraid there might be a pretty decent chance that this is just not happening at all. Alright, so this is my fire cultivator's room. Do I have enough igneo copper bars? No. We could go for fire essence bars though instead. How many would we need? 20. Hmm, quite costly. Well, let's do it anyways. Because I feel like, you know, it's about time that we go for the more costly things. We are, after all, progressing as a sect in power. The better the quality of the chi cushion, the more, the more cultivation speed we get. There is a trick that you can also put a chi item, a chi gatherer item on the central slot, but I'm not using that because I think that's... For me, that's exploiting. The fact that you can put a cushion on top of an item. I don't know. Everybody can play that as he or she likes, but I don't, uh, I don't like this uh, kind of mode to play like. Maybe I'm at the wrong game then, but <laughs> who knows. Now, let's uh, let's try it one more time. I'm pretty sure that I'm just very, very unlucky and not able to pick up that, uh, that law, but I just need to try. I guess you guys can understand that. Alrighty. But I think it's time to focus my efforts on something else now. Especially people like Ruzong should be at this point meditating for enlightenment. Now, since we are now deeper down the road with uh, with cultivation, let's see how much belief there is to be gained. So, what's my, which are my strongest uh, agencies? So we got 8,000 at River Bank Plains, that's pretty good. Well, at these places we don't gain any followers whatsoever, so... We do charity add Seascape, Snake Tail Village, City of Abundance, Central Plain and River Bank Plain. And now I'm supposed to keep that all up in my noggin. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. There is a skill I want to learn called meditation. That's a very powerful ritual. You you are using when somebody is actually already on a higher stage of cultivation. But Ruzong is lacking inspiration. My inspiration gain is pretty lousy right now, but we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. So we got now four cultivators running. Let's see. Maybe I should gather a fifth one. How's your tribulation timer? The question should just be what kind of uh, disciple, what kind of other cultivator do I want? I think I'm going to just uh, recruit a few more people and see if there's anything extremely impressive there. So... There's not really any... any information whatsoever what kind of uh, stats you would need for that law. It's really annoying, in my opinion. But since it didn't work the first few times, I don't think it's going to work after that. So we're now stopping our experiments. I wanted to try it at least a dozen of times to see if stubbornness doesn't uh, solve the, do the trick. But it didn't look like it did. A couple of Yao guy are messing around with us. Chi shapen, chi shapen, kuo shapen. Oh. Good thing that Mr. Ruzong is back in town. His fighting power is lackluster, but good enough to take these guys down, I think. 
So Duanganji is also in town, so we're going to send her into battle too. There we go. Oh. Azuragon Falling Cherry Blossom Scrap. Put it into the formation. Ooh, Ice Essence Spear. These are actually quite valuable items. Wait a sec. Why am I not able to multi-select them now? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Fire Essence Sword. Jeez, they had quite nice items. After all, the quality of the used material determines how powerful the item could be as an artifact. So, to give you an idea. Now, we're going to explore Celeste Pass with G. I think she's going to be the proper choice there. And if I remember correctly, I did choose Buzong for the derivative calculations, or did I? No, Fang Shun was my, uh, was my candidate for that. We're going to send Buzong to, let's see where. Mount Shu ain't completely discovered yet. But I want to send him towards Jade Stone to gather more Ignea Copper Ore for the sect. Because I really feel like we can't use that. Alright, Ruzong stays at home because he's supposed to meditate. I really want to pump him into the into a status where he's really going to be quite powerful for us. But to begin with that, we need the meditation skill. There we go. Let's learn that. There we go. Now, meditation is a self-cultivation state, but we still have to take care of his mental status. You can select how long they meditate. You shouldn't let it run through completely if you are not able to sustain a permanent positive mood on the uh, cultivator, because mood does matter. But at the same time, you gain you gain experience on your laws so much quicker there. So I always try to go for the meditation if possible. Okay, so Fang Shun, you're supposed to do your trick. And also I wanted to hire a few new people here. So let's see. Oh, I like that one, Long Fei. She looks like a good cultivation candidate. And well, we're going to sort them by Qi Sense. Thing is, Qi Sense is a very, very important and dominant stat, and if you're low on that, your whole cultivation career is not really standing under a good star. Qi Sense is like the basic skill of your character to be good, a good match for, for magic in general if you would put it into Western words. It determines how good you can feel and uh, get close to magic. So you see here, this guy has a decent uh, chi sense. This guy's chi sense is horrible. It does make a difference. And if you want to have really, really good cultivators, you should go for people that have a pretty high stat there. That's why Yao Gai are pretty cool, because they tend to have high Qi Sense ratings, per se. I say they tend to, not they always have, because... I gotta be honest, I haven't played around with the Yao Gai that much yet. Especially not cultivating them. Because every Yao Gai has to face a tribulation at some point where the heavens test this creature if it's actually worth being a a person or still a beast yeah i think that's uh that summarizes it quite well all right wanganji's battle power is rather bad but i can't change that for now i just hope that my dog's stats are now good enough to just tank these monsters outside here Yeah, that's looking good. 
His chi doesn't really move anymore. He does take some damage, but really, really slow. Way slower than before. So let's butcher down that beastie and see what this place has in store for us. With these developments, it's going to be a lot easier for me to explore places thoroughly. Uh, it's, uh, after, it's after her. In that scenario, it was necessary to let the monster hit her once and then run away. To shake off the acro. What do we have here? Purity pills. Stabilize one's mental state. Well, if they're lying around like that, they're supposed to be gathered. So, what's that? Stone sect gate. Okay. This one is not interactable. And that's it, yeah. Well, the map had not many things in store in general, so I'm not surprised about that. But we gathered a couple of purity pills. They aren't for free anyways. So. There we go. Let's carry that stuff back home. A little bit of an underwhelming adventure spot, but I don't know all these adventure spots already so I keep exploring them even though they might be bad or uninteresting or low rewards you get my idea so with this status here Ruzong is cultivating a lot quicker yeah mysterious cultivator has obtained the mandate that was exactly what I was expecting yeah he can eat beast blood when it's useful that's okay for me so we will need let's see we will need mushrooms and lotus root. Okay. Well, with that cold environment, this biome is pretty bad for for farming in general. I think we will need to. Why is there a scorch pill lying around just like that? <laughs> We will need to acquire food from exter external sources. I can't really imagine how the heck I'm supposed to farm in here without... Well, okay. I don't need to fertilize the ground. I could just... Yeah, it, I, I think I'm making it harder than it is. You don't need to put, put it up like that. I could also just uh, create little rooms to farm at. You're also capable of doing wonderful things like these. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this definitely. So, uh, watch me do magic. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's take marble blocks, but I need to do floorings first. So, let's see. I need the flooring here. Since you can't put walls on, on water, you need to put floorings first on the water because flooring can, can lie on water. Okay, so let's see. We have room for seven, nine, 12 people. Let's expand that a little bit. Let's go for a marble building now. Of course we're going to help the stranger. That's not even a question here. Alright. Are you kidding me? Unsuitable site? Ah, yeah, of course. That's a downside of the mini-universe. When the materials get deposited instantaneously on the building slot, you can't just overwrite them anymore. So, whoever came up with that idea, it was not a good idea. <laughs> it was just not a good idea. <laughs> a gang of demons were operating in Blossom Fall. Now that's a 
that's the first case for the good sect. Okay, let's do this. I shouldn't do that actually, but I don't care. I, I say I shouldn't do that because it racks up reputation and my sect is not that battle ready yet. But I wanted to try out these things for sure. So the higher your sect's reputation, the more difficult the enemies grow. And since I plan on increasing my battle power rather sooner than later, it's going to be okay. So we gain the eat neo copper ore we desire. That's good. How much of that red bar do we have now? 15. Okay, we need 20 for the cushion I want. Okay. Let's see, the other folks are all chilling. So let's do some derivative calculations again. Yo Feng Shun, I said calculations, not sleeping. Fail. Evils in the world. Use strategy and br or brute force. Well, let's use brute force. We're a golden core after all. Ruzong was enraged and produced a miracle to force the wicked to appear. They battled in the sky, and while it was bloody, eventually Ruzong defeated the wicked. Although this action brought about many accidental deaths, but Kui Ruzong became more renowned with much belief, and many a follow gained as a. Okay. So. I'm gonna try that the next time with strategy because that didn't give us any good renown. Oh man. Derivative calculation gives you the option to burn through lifetime so friggin fast, but that's okay. Traces of ancient book, completely not interested in that. Oh man, so many fails. <laughs> no. Running low on lifetime by now too. Too bad. I'm going to sit on the last 50 points there. So let's see, is there anybody high on intelligence? No, not really. Dang. Well, then let's hire ourselves some new people. And let's see. I'm looking for people with a high intelligence and a high chi sense. So there we go. This guy looks quite intelligent. No, not really. Intelligence five. Not interested in any of those. Although the high perception on that go uh, woman, well, no. Let's try that tomorrow again. <laughs> the sect is pretty much out of work. All the outer disciples are just chilling, walking around, doing nothing. That's okay, bro. I don't mind them. So let's put these items into the formation. Search the bodies. All right, let's do a little lotus farm here. Wait a sec before anything bad happens again. Let's place down a door beforehand. <laughs> Why can't I place a door here? What the heck? Things I don't understand sometimes. Now it worked, okay. Good stuff. So we're now creating a lotus farm here. There we go. We're also gonna be able to farm other stuff in here, but one thing at a time. Now, area 
fields. Can we do this like that, or does it grow into different fields now? No. Okay, good. I want the water area as a unique area, and I possibly, no, not possibly, I should have done that a lot earlier, but I am still learning with this game. And I mentioned it in the comments a while ago that this is only my third attempt in a full run, which I go for more, well, thoroughly. Let's call it thoroughly. So I'm not too surprised that a lot of things show up where I'm like, man, I could have done that so much earlier. But, you know, in case you're wondering why I keep delaying such things or why my... Um, why the person, why my fire cultivator has no cultivation room right next to that ginkgo tree, because that ginkgo tree is just a boatload of uh, of wood chi, and it's also an insanely strong chi gathering item, so I think I'm going to relocate this chamber to this place at some someday in the future, but you know, you really want to eat cinnabar, yeah you do you. Now, my cultivators are just slacking. That's not cool. G, uh, no, Ruzong. How's your mental state? Good enough. Let's send Ruzong back to the meditation cushion. Chop, chop, friend. We're not here to slack off. Then, people with a certain lifespan. Yeah, G should also do some more derivative calculations while Feng Shun, I want him to be on, on journeys. Let's see, Nilumbo is completely discovered. We should also consider to send somebody to Wyvern Pool soon. Oh, that was not good. Didn't want to have only one trip there. All right, let's burn our lifetime. Let's see how good that'll work. Traces of Just Sect. Well, I don't really want to go for these events with which just would increase my renown further. Manifesting Cave. Yeah, too bad. Alright, seems like luck and intelligence are the uh, stronger stats. I also know that a Primordial Spirit Cultivator has much higher chances of succeeding at the calculation game, but maybe we gain another mandate here. Traces of ancient book, too bad. I personally feel like the options of gaining advanced laws in the game are really, really annoying. Don't hate me too much for that opinion, but I really don't like it, how the game works around there, because we're basically now forced to just spam it. Beyond that, there's only Kunlun competition, which is actually giving you the opt option to do that. But luckily, once the lifetime has been completely used up, we can go for the Reverie Rebirth Miracle, which allows us to rebirth cultivators just like that. And that's all we need. So, well, let's send G to where? We have Lucian under exploration. Mount Tiger Paw has some locations. We have not explored Sunshade yet. So let's send her there. Meanwhile, I'm allocating belief to pump up Ruzong to a level where I'm actually starting to be happy with this with this power. So, I don't want to visit the mortal realm. Now, this room is at minus 27 degree, which is for the lotus plant not good. I don't know, the lotus plant, let's see what it needs. It doesn't tell me? Yeah, well, I do know that we will need more temperature than that, for sure. And that's where the beast blood is going to be used, but I think you already guessed that. There we go. 
So basically we're just checking out how many beast bloods we'll need to get that room into positive numbers. Pretty sure it's going to take a few more. But since the sect has more than enough beast blood available, I don't mind at all. Alright, so let's see. Ruzong's progress is not really making me happy, so we're going to check out for and we're going to check out new sources of belief there. Well, let's see how quick we allocate that now. 13k there. Well, what we do need now is a big influx of extra followers somewhere. Before that happens, we don't really have too many chances of making big leaps in terms of skill gains. Because Ruzong already has a certain attainment level. The attainment level is basically acting as a multiplier for your... For your... What's it called again? For your experience costs, aka inspiration. So the more attainment you have, the more costy things grow so therefore yeah and let's check out new cultivators we're going to sort them by chi sense again so this guy ooh, consti seven just not that lucky but beyond that charismatic but chi sense 12 is pretty decent so we're going to recruit that fella. We got so much room in our sect for all manner of people that I really want to be a little bit less picky there. And just uh, say hi to all manner of different people here. By the way, saying hi, we're going to do some, some decent floorings here. Looks like our friend Buzong is now finally acquiring enough igneo copper ore for us to yeah well it still takes a little bit more now i want more spirit stone blocks kind of like fell in love with these i mean the good news is they are completely neutral so therefore it's a lot easier to make the room beautiful now we got earthen walls and well let's see i wonder how the uh feng shui will be in these rooms when everything is made out of spirit stone block just wanted to try that for once i never did it i, I have the slight feeling like it might be horrible because it's not defined enough but still i want to make i want to give it a try Let's put a little bit of a neat, a little, a few neat items in there. So these are our luxury residences, you know. Okay. By the way, how is the temperature now? Minus 14. Okay. So, time flies. I just noticed that we're uh, 34 minutes in. That's, uh, well, it's time to say goodbye for today. I've been enjoying myself a lot. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying your stay as well. There's a lot of things we have to take care of in the near future. And I hope we're going to get some mandate event which we can actually oh, many a beggar asking for money on the side of the road they need food and i hope that we're going to acquire some mandates soon that will be fitting to our sect until then i'm just waiting for the trader and waiting for the auction scroll 
because at the auction house we can most likely acquire items more often which allow us to lengthen the lifetime of our cultivators because right now there is not much more to do than to spam derivative calculations and hope for the best. Drop me a comment down below, I'd really love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for all the uh, talk we already had in the comment section, I really enjoy that. Also a thumbs up is very very welcome to make the series more visible to the almighty algorithm and I keep mentioning it, mentioning it every episode but it's really like that. Subscriptions help me a ton. Turn on the notifications if you want to be informed about future releases. But most importantly, have a good time and see you soon. Bye-bye.